Yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. It's pricey, but sweet. I truly believe in desktop modes on our phones and better docks for improving our interactions. If it's Huawei desktop mode, Dex, Screen Plus, Ready For, or even just screen sharing a phone or tablet, there's a lot more computing work we could be doing from mobile computers. And I've reviewed a number of solutions from portable monitors to hubs, to full-on laptop docks. Uperfect sent over their new X-Pro U dock for me to share my thoughts, so let's chat. The idea here is to make a nicer, larger touchscreen monitor with a built-in stand, a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, and then incorporate a keyboard and trackpad into a blade cover reminiscent of a Surface Pro. Now, what I'm reviewing here is the 15.6 inch 1080p display in a surprisingly slim chassis, which handles mobile computing better than I thought it would. I don't really love the idea of trying to set up a portable monitor to use with my phone. I think they work well when you know you're going to sort of set up and camp out for a bit and you wanna add a second screen to a laptop. If you have to pack and bring a keyboard and mouse, well, that's less good for your phone, which is why I tend to prefer a more traditional laptop style form factor to use with the phone's desktop mode. The X Pro bridges some of those gaps. It's nicer to cart around when adding a screen to a laptop and more immediately functional if you wanna try and use it with the phone, while only being a little less portable than the Uperfect X I reviewed a little while back. The same general philosophy at play. Plug in a USB cable, the phone detects the display and puts a desktop style workspace up on the screen. This works phenomenally well. I mostly used this out and about with my LG Velvet, and it's incredible how well polished this computing interface is for a mid-ranger phone that was built to compete against the Galaxy A71. There's no reason Samsung couldn't bring DeX to their mid-tier devices. One of the critical perks for this dock is having a solid and smooth, rigid stand built into the frame. I do not like floppy tablet style covers. If you nudge the table enough, or if you try to move that portable display, it's just gonna flop down and there goes a 15 inch screen. None of that here. You know, the angle can still be a bit of a challenge in some situations, especially outdoors, where the screen pretty much always has to angle up. You know, you can't close the screen over your keyboard, but it's a lot more stable than I thought it would be. Case in point, so I don't drop it. Kind of like a, a Surface Pro. I find detachable blade keyboard covers to be, to be pretty much useless if you like to use your laptop's on your lap. I think this concept works best when you can just set it down on a tabletop, nice and stable. This keyboard and trackpad are respectable, if a little small considering the overall space on a 15 inch screen cover. I like the key feel, though it obviously won't have the same tactile response as the best laptop keyboards, and it would have been nice if the keys were backlit. Also, I, I just wish we had a larger trackpad. It's nice and responsive, but again, we've got a little more space down there. It would have been nice to have some more surface area. The built-in battery powers the screen and charges the phone connected. I'm glad they opted for a slower charging. It, it always makes me a little anxious trickle charging a full phone, especially when we've got really fast charging. I'm really happy to see that you can turn the charging off if you only want your phone connected. That is actually pretty handy and something I wish my older next stocks could do. On the whole, battery life is pretty good considering the larger display. 
I was seeing a little more than 15% power drop per hour charging my phone and using the Uperfect outside at max brightness. It was fine for outdoor shaded use around one of my favorite cafes. The speakers are still super weak. It's absolutely a cost-saving area on pretty much every laptop I've ever used. Good phone speakers are probably going to outperform what you got back here. Happily though, there is still a headphone jack on here because it's ridiculously dumb to remove headphone jacks from our gadgets, especially more premium phones and tablets. And like the Uperfect X, I absolutely love the on-screen controls to dial in your monitor settings. Settings use the touchscreen, and this works so much better than my other portable monitors, which make you use a fiddly little rocker or dial to scroll through those settings. General travel and portability, it's a little broad and a little wide, but takes up overall less volume volume and weight than a 15 inch or larger laptop. And even with the blade attached can come in thinner than a lot of portable displays. Like I said at the top though, it is a little pricey. The 1080p version of this dock is going to cost $599. And that makes this conversation a bit trickier than some of the other docks I've reviewed. This is the only version of this concept currently being sold. After reviewing the Uperfect X, I'd have high hopes for regular use easily outlasting a phone upgrade or two. What needs to be balanced is computing power needs against the cost of a good laptop or Chromebook. A lot of the docs I've reviewed before were nearer the $300 ballpark. $600 can buy a decent amount of laptop. So I still like this idea, even just for phone use. A battery powered portable display and a wireless keyboard and mouse will cost less but it won't be as nice. They won't pack together as well. You know, it might be more things you need to charge and keep track of. The setup will not be as directly plug and play. You'd need to balance these extra costs against how much you might value the more complete execution of this concept. This is tricky because it's not hard finding a brand new Core i5 laptop in this range or last year's Core i7s. Some great deals on refurbs, even a few Ryzen 7s sneaking in there. So depending on what apps and services you use, power might not be too far off if you have a Snapdragon 855 or newer chip in your phone. And we can also balance some of those lifestyle concerns. On my current phone plan, I have unlimited data on my phone, but only five gig of tethering. So if I use my phone, I have unlimited data on a phone and a lap dock. Plus, I just don't want to count out those folks who might want to spend a little more for something that just looks nicer. We can put something together on our own that might be a bit cheaper. It's not too functionally different. But the X Pro is nicer to use. I definitely have a harder time making the same broad recommendation as I have on less expensive docks. I think this works, but it might make even more sense if you think you'll get multiple gadgets of use out of it. Like if you move from a phone to a Nintendo Switch, maybe also pair it up occasionally with a desktop or a laptop. If it can fulfill a few more roles, it makes a stronger bang for buck argument. It really shines when you think you can double or triple dip with it. This is the tax we pay for it being the only version of this concept to exist. It still contributes to the overall conversation I'm trying to have about expanding phone and tablet use, even if it's in its own premium category of this concept. I'll of course leave some links down below where you can find more information on Uperfect laptop docs, maybe shop one of these bad boys online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators has never been more critical than it is today. So I greatly appreciate those of you who are. You're checking out the links down below. Maybe you're shopping a little merch. That kind of stuff really does help keep production rolling on this channel. There's a full list of all of my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguide.com, or you might consider, just maybe, Checking out the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. This list is basically a collection of the coolest tech pals on the internet, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.